just a little bit in line about for loops. So a for loop is another kind of loop. Um, it has this syntax. You have the for keyword, the initialization, um, the condition, as well as the increment. So basically a while loop, except more efficient essentially. And note that you have to separate each um, section by a semicolon and then you have the brackets and you have your code here okay so the loop has three components the first part runs when we enter the loop and initializes the variable the second part is the condition of the loop and the third part runs every time the loop runs Note that we have to separate these by semicolons, and there's a bracket here. Okay, so you can have any type of condition and any type of increment statements in for the for loop. For example, the below prints only the even values from 0 to 10. Okay, if we can see this, run it. Okay, print from 0 to 10 because you're adding two each time. Okay, how many numbers will the following loop up? So we have two. So two is greater than 10. So it's gonna print it. And then you times two times two is four. So now i is equal to four. So four is less than 10. So it's gonna print it. i times i, which four times four is 16. 16 is not less than 10, so it's not going to print it. It's only going to print two numbers. Loop control. Remember the break statement from the switch? It can also be used to terminate loops. So right here, it can be used to essentially exit out of the loop if you have the break statement, like we did in the switch. So it also works in the for loop. And here's one example use case of break. For example, you are making a calculator and need to take numbers from the user to add together and stop when the user enters stop. In this, in this case, the break statement can be used to end the loop when the user equals stop. So here we have an if statement and then we can just do break to exit out of the loop. Another control statement is continue. It makes the loop skip the current iteration and go to the next one. The above code skips the value of 30 as directed by the continue statement. An example use case of continue is an airline ticketing system needs to calculate the total cost for all tickets purchased Tickets for children under the age of three are free. We can use a for loop to iterate through the list of passengers and calculate the total cost of tickets. Here, the continue statement can be used to skip the children. So here, I'm going to just do continue and print out x. That's good. So the lesson takeaways for today are going to be the for loop has the following syntax. You have the for keyword, the initialization, the condition, and the increments, and your code goes here. The break statement can be used to stop a loop, and the continue statement can be used to skip the current iteration of the loop and jump to the next one. So in the next video, we'll be attempting to do this practice problem. So if you want to watch it, watch the next video. I hope you guys have a great day.